Hey Wana, Tutin here, would you consider making a video for budget gaming monitors in South Africa? I'm currently using a 720p LCD TV at 60Hz. I definitely want to upgrade to a 1080p 75 to 100Hz monitor, but I'm on a tiny budget, so your info would help. Hope you're well, and let's get into it. Right, what's going on guys? Today we are gonna go through the budget monitors in South Africa. This is about seven that I could find that I wanna go through and see what I can actually recommend to you guys to keep you on a budget while actually giving you the best monitor that you can find for your gaming needs. Let's begin with the cheapest one that you will probably see round about everywhere because this is quite frankly the cheapest gaming monitor like a hundred hertz monitor that you can actually find okay this is the cooler master ga 24 or 241 24 inch fhd 100 hertz monitor on paper it's it's the best thing you can find i mean it's 2200 rand which is unheard of when it comes to you know a gaming monitor and and what you can find at this price point but it has some drawbacks i have seen quite a few mixed reviews and a lot of those go with how the picture quality actually looks. They say it's it's fine if you need to do like homework and light gaming, but as soon as you get into competitive gaming, that's where it doesn't really shine as much anymore. So there are drawbacks, but it's not the end of the world. You can keep this one in your mind right now. With that, I'm going to move over to the Dell S24 25H 23.8 inch monitor it is a 1080p one once again with 100 hertz but this time it is a ips led display which i love i love ips displays the color accuracy is insane with that so yeah this is this is one you can actually definitely keep in mind i don't think i've ever seen a dell monitor that doesn't look good i they're insane when it comes to the picture quality it's just Awesome. This is still a 100 hertz monitor, but it's not that much more expensive than the Cooler Master 1. The Cooler Master 1 is 2200, whereas this one is 2700 Rand. There's about a 500 Rand difference, but it's worth it. I want to say definitely it's worth it. If you're looking at the cheapest possible monitor you can find and you can spare that extra 500 Rand, I would go for this one. Moving on, we have the ViewSonic VX2479 HD Pro 24 inch full HD IPS frameless gaming monitor. That's that's a mouthful. That's definitely a mouthful. We bump up to a 180 hertz monitor. Now you're not gonna get the same picture quality probably as you would with the Dell monitors because they are famous for having super accurate, very, very crystal clear displays but this is still a viewsonic which isn't too bad considering you're you're getting 180 hertz out of this thing and it has hdr10 which is i want to say unheard of in this price range it's insane this is on special though and everything that i'm talking about is on eve tech at the moment even though i would love to support a, a lot of other places where you can buy or, or like businesses where you can buy stuff like this at the end of the day when i did my research most of the cheapest ones that i could find was on if tech is what it is i mean what can you do i'm here to give you guys the best possible deal not the other way around moving on we have the lg ultra gear 24 inch ips led full hd monitor 144 hertz now this does seem like a step down like a bump down but it's an LG Ultra Gear monitor, which is why I put it here in the first place. Because LG, they make excellent products. At the end of the day, they're really good at what they do. I haven't really seen an LG Ultra Gear monitor that isn't very good. So this is still 24 inch, 1080p, 144 hertz, 1 milliseconds response time. But I have a friend that has the 2K 32 inch version of this exact same monitor. I've, I've seen the quality and it looks absolutely insane now we're moving into the the bigger monitors this is the first 27 inch one that i could find this is a bump down to 100 hertz once again but it's a 27 inch full hd 1080p monitor it's the dell s 27 25 h 27 inch monitor it's it, it's a dell one once again i i find it really hard not to recommend dell because they're like i said the displays are insane but do keep in mind this is 100 hertz so it's a massive step down you will definitely and i mean definitely feel the difference between like 180 140 hertz and 100 hertz there is a massive difference in between i don't care who says otherwise i can feel the difference 100 you have to keep in mind 
you have to sacrifice some of that uh, response for a well fairly bigger monitor at the end of the day it's three inches but believe me three inches counts in this case okay <laughs> then moving on we have the samsung 27 inch 165 hertz monitor now this is mine this is my main monitor the one that i'm using right here it's an excellent excellent monitor i love this thing it is quite a bit more expensive coming in like almost a thousand rand more so this one is four thousand two hundred rand but it is a awesome monitor i love this thing it's big it's sleek it looks good it feels good there's not much i could find wrong with it the only thing that i have found in my one year of using this monitor is underneath the joystick that you use to get into the main menu of the monitor that thing gets like i don't know if it's like dust or something it gets into it but it's like it doesn't always work as well as you want it to now it has been working for the past couple of months like perfect but there were times where i had to kind of struggle like reset the joystick and stuff just for it to work perfectly but apart from that the monitor itself is absolutely amazing i used a dell 24 inch 165 hertz just before this and it it feels better it's at the end of the day i've switched back and forth this this just feels better then we have the most expensive one but for a very specific reason coming in at 5000 rand we have the dell curved gaming monitor it's a 27 inch qhd which means it's a 2k monitor it's the first one we have seen on this list and it's the only one that i'm going to talk about because it's the cheapest one i think you'll possibly get anywhere new this is a dell monitor but it's not an ips display as far as i know i'm not exactly sure but i i don't think it's an ips display but what it is at the end of the day is a qhd monitor so the display experience that you're gonna get is mental compared to the other ones I'm, there's a massive difference between 2k and 1080p and this one is also 165 hertz as well it's 27 inch it's a nice big monitor and it's curved which is always a plus when it comes to the ones that i would actually recommend i would say the first cheapest one that i would recommend is the dell s24 25h because this monitor is at the end of the day a dell monitor it's it has an ips display which means the colors are going to be super accurate it's 100 hertz which is quite a bit more than the 60 hertz that a lot of people are used to it's a nice size it looks great it's super well priced this one would be the go-to for like the budget budget one if you go on to like the three and a half thousand rand ish monitors i would say either the lg ultra gear which is a 144 hertz or i would say just go on a little bit more than that and get the 27 inch samsung odyssey g32 a it's an absolutely awesome monitor. The only reason I wouldn't really recommend the ViewSonic 180Hz monitor is because I don't know this monitor. I haven't seen anything promising or not promising. So I, I, I can't really give you guys an accurate feeling <laughs> towards this monitor it, on paper it looks awesome does any one of you guys actually use this monitor let me know in the comment section down below and uh, the rest of you guys let me know which monitor you actually use right now is it a 60 hertz is it 100 hertz 144 165 240 whatever the case may be let me know in the comment section down below i really hope you guys enjoyed like this video if you liked it subscribe that would really mean the world to me but i've got one question for all of you do you Wanna play?